Frankie, we got two Canadian organics and two Canadian generics today on Box Mac. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, I, I went into the Hall of Max and I plucked out anything that had French writing on it. Oh, well, I think you did well. We've themed the show. We've themed the show. Uh, so we've got two craft dinners. Um, that are organic. They're 81% organic and 77% organic, respectively. And I don't think we've ever done KD organic. No, we have not. As far as I know. This is also the first time I've seen like a mostly organic Mac. I don't really understand the appeal. You feel like it's it's either 100% or none? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's like... I'm sorry, I got really distracted. You've been talking about your dishware for the last few episodes? Yeah. I didn't know there was also a clock. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got a lot of other interesting pieces. I could introduce a new piece every episode. <laughs> Should I give you one more? All right. It's like the this is a garlic keeper. Its sole function is to store garlic inside, but also keep the garlic aerated, but in a dark environment where it won't sprout. You know who I think would really like this? Yeah? Our frumpy female fan base. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a four-inch Blattsgraf flower pot. <laughs> no, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not even really kidding. I know we, you're not. We have frumpy females in the in the family. I know, and they'd love it. And I think they're like, I would like that. All right, we've got a, uh, you know, Mac. Could I, I just sit down and let you do the episode? You no. want to try that? I, I don't think it's gonna work, personally. Why not? I think it's gonna fall apart. You don't think I can like cook the Max? Go ahead. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Here we go. This is good. Okay, so this Why one's... haven't we ever done this before? So this one, Frankie. Yeah. Add, okay. I'm looking for the one teaspoon of, uh, one tablespoon of... Uh... I, I'm, I'm just pleased as punch. <laughs> it just says macaroni and cheese dinner. Like, that's yeah. literally it. Yeah, it's, it's like the no generic idea. equivalent version of macaroni and cheese, you know? Yeah, macaroni au fromage. You, could you at least cut butter? Or am I in charge of that too? Do you usually cut the butter on the show? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to do this the whole episode. I feel like I'm, I'm shirking my responsibilities here. It's fine. You're doing a pretty lousy job of being Frankie. <laughs> oh, uh, interesting things. Uh, let me just briefly check my phone for an interesting thing. Um, here I've got an interesting clip. I'll cut in the clip in editing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm John. Uh, can I just, can I just sit down and say a quiet on the mic? Do I sound a little like Winnie the Pooh all the time? <laughs> Can I just <laughs> sit bad? down and I have a rumbly in my tumbly? I can just get up and keep doing this. You're already, you're, you're it's, it's slightly, you know. You don't like how it's going? I feel like the commentary <laughs> is lower quality than it normally is. <laughs> and the cooking is lower <laughs> quality. <laughs> lower quality. And really, <laughs> nothing is getting positively accomplished <laughs> by this arrangement, except I get to sit comfortably. That, that would be a fun twist. You have me edit one. Oh God. I'm, I'd be horrified. I'd be, I'd be mortified. I, I don't think it would come out. Do you think my? I, I don't think you can edit the John edited episode. Yeah. Do you want to do it? I want to do it. I don't want to do, do, do it. This one. I, I'll do it this episode. All right. How much? How but much? You can't like dilly dally. No. You gotta edit the. You fucking just episode. give me a date. We'll have it edited. Well, while we're waiting for those to boil, I'm gonna cut some butter. <laughs> okay. You have a tougher job than I do, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't want to call too much attention to it. Um, but. But I mean, I do make four boxes of Mac a show, and yeah, and, you're doing a good and, job. And, but you do do the editing, so it's it's more than you know. You put in more work than I do standing here for 15 minutes. This whole episode is about division of labor. <laughs> <laughs> it's just about it's about understanding each other's roles. Yes. You know? That's like that feels like a workplace like kind of thing that you do. Like this is the box Mac retreat. <laughs> You'd virtually swap roles yeah. in, in like okay now now in that meeting you're in charge. Now you have to argue for that yeah. point of view. Yeah yeah exactly. Now let's stop. Let's reverse the roles. I want you to literally walk in John's giant shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not that hard. What have I given you all this credit for? <laughs> but you do need to come up with conversation. Oh um. That I have to like half participate. Oh here in. I got one. Hand me that wallet, would you? Uh, so I want to tell you a little bit of a sad story, yeah. right? So you know my wallets. We've talked about them on, on in content before. The plastic that makes up these wallets is degrading by age. This wallet, this one you see right here, has been in service for but a week and a half. Oh my God. So the plastic realistically lasted about 10 years, which is honestly pretty good for a dollar plastic. Not to divert myself off my own talking topic, but do you, do you, do you guys have a backup wallet? Do no. You have a, I have a backup wallet really? in my car that has a, uh, a duplicate driver's license, a duplicate credit card. And is it because you lost wallets in, the, in your life? 
a long time ago. But you decided to have a disaster recovery plan for wallets? Absolutely. Uh, especially if I'm out. Like, there's nothing worse. Like, you've lost your wallet, and then you get pulled over, and you don't have your license. I'm just very particular about not losing my wallet. I, I can completely understand that. But yeah. what if you get mugged? Yeah, what I, if that happened, Frankie? Then what would you do? All right, things are going well here. Yeah, yeah. I had, a, like, a little bit of interesting conversation. You know, I wanted to, couple... there was conversation I was planning back before I was going to do all the labor. Well, we were talking about all this dishware. Yeah. And because it's kind of old fogey, it's kind of old lady. It reminded me of when I used to visit with my grandparents. Yep. They used to have like trinkets that I would stare at the whole visit. Sure. Do you have that? Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh my God, he's got more of these Rorschach things. So this is a, I don't know why the hell you're supposed to use it, but it's a Platzgraf um, potpourri holder. How much money did you spend on Platzgraf? Oh, about 200 bucks. Yeah, it's one of mugs. You got Matt over there being like, I'm gonna inherit all the plats graft. <laughs> That's what I get for all my hard work. I'm gonna write it into the will. Matt gets all the plats graft and $35. $235 value. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need some help, Brian? Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I, I can say at a party. Yeah. And a Why did you do that? Uh, the same reason you sometimes get up and fuck with the stove. Yeah, what? That was on for a reason. I didn't forget. <laughs> Just to mess with you. Just to mess with me? I don't believe you for a second. It's mostly done. It's not done. Leave it on then. Put it back on. It's fine. I want to just congratulate Frankie on the, the valiant effort he's putting forth today. <laughs> I know that, that well, this is not an easy thing to do. You're going to be able to handle the edit. Uh, I can do it. You're going to mute the tracks of the person that's not speaking. We'll see about that. <laughs> I just so, feel so lazy. I mean, I really do. Medium and small. So medium and small are these. And then uh, they're all a third of a cup. What do you think about that? I think it's delicious. <laughs> Even the extra creamy is a third? That was my logic. Yeah, they're all a third of a cup. Okay, this is a half. I read a third. This one's a quarter. What? <laughs> it? I went through every one of those instead of this bantering, one, one and I really, got a Trello card full it of banter. really is a fourth. If I find a third, you're dead. Yeah, you're right, it's a fourth. I, I gotta get up, I can't sit anymore. I gotta stir Would you, back. no, sit. All right, fine. You know, Frankie, I bought these chairs with the intent of someday maybe like sitting at the table to eat. It has not happened once. <laughs> do you find it frustrating that like I use different techniques than you do? Um, you feel no, like this would all be job done? done. I, I mean, it would be done a little faster, but this gives me the time for additional lousy banter. Like I'm right now, <laughs> lousy. talking about these chairs. They're like really durable. They're restaurant chairs. They're bar chairs. Uh, and I really disliked the idea of a chair that is not, um, you know, I hate counter height chairs. You know, I, hate I do them. too. But here you are with one. Yeah, and you've tried this one. How do you think it is? I don't like it as much as a regular chair. Neither do I. But as far as they go, at least it doesn't feel like you're going to fall off and be unstable. But you know what? I stupidly bought bar height chairs for my house. Did you? Yeah. Why? Why yeah. didn't we both do it? I didn't know at the time. Well, okay, now you can help with uh, okay. What with, do you need? with stirring. Okay. That because is... normally you recruit me for stirring. Sure, I do. Sure. Oh, geez. Now that you're in the way, actually. Oh, let me get out of your way then. No, it's fine. Keep stirring. Poor unfortunate souls. Keep stirring. I'm gonna edit this and you're not gonna like how it comes out. No, it's gonna have like, the pace will be, you know, I'll, I'll have minor I think, issues. I do you think I've never watched like content before? I'm worried. I mean, in worst case, you can read, just re edit it, you know. I wouldn't dare re edit it. That's the gimmick. We have a gimmick. That's, going. we got a gimmick going? And we're keeping the packets around to keep track of everything. Well, these all look pretty good. Sure. <laughs> well. These all look fine to me. John, why don't you go ahead and, st and serve these? Sure. That's what he would do. Do you know what's what? Uh, yep, I'm getting it right now. And then... Uh, yeah, was it labeled properly? Yeah, everything's great. Look at that. Frankie's system works just fine. Do they actually... Um... Yes, they're lined up according to the boxes. Okay, why okay. don't we start with the yellow? I'm gonna sit. Sure. So I think I deserved it. Yeah, you did good, Frankie. You did a good job. So we're gonna start with the yellow. So which which is that one? That's the first one on the end here, the, the kind of lightish one. Okay. Um, pretty bland. Yeah, very bland. Uh, I mean, it is a yellow box. This is macaroni and cheese. Literally, no brand at all. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, I, it's honestly, okay. If you salted the hell out of it. Yeah. You and, and you had it next to a burger. Yeah, it'd be fine. I bet my kid would like this. Oh sure, I think she'd love Just it. Just mushy. Yeah. Half cheesy pasta. All right, let's try the KD. And that is white cheddar. To so these twists? Yeah, twists. Um, pretty lousy. Yeah, pretty like cardboardy cheese flavor. And I don't care for it, to be honest with you. Um, 
I mean, it's about on the same level as the other one. Loser. All right, you wanna try the, um, this is KD Original Organic? Okay. Seems kinda weak. Yeah, it's weak, it's fine. It's kinda like the first one. Certainly not as good as the original KD that I remember. No. Let's try the Great Value um, French Canadian Extra Creamy. And it is an extra creamy, so. Yep. Is there hope? Yuck. No, yeah. It's yucky. What does it taste like? Rotten? Yeah, but it's not out of date. So far, these are all just Gloria words. <laughs> Rotten and yucky. It, it has, a, it's got a super ton of sourness. Nothing here made me go ho ho ho. No, I, I was wanting to go ho ho ho. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. Ho ho ho. I didn't um, even bring up all that and, and French P. I wanted to do that. I just did. You have a whole thing. This is kind of. I'll cut it in a clip. Right, you cut. You'll cut it in a clip. I'll cut it in a clip. Au grass farm, I volé mes pieds mon rouge. A fat woman has stolen my hot peppers. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, don't buy any of these. Um, just if you have them in your kitchen, uh, you can donate them to a food pantry. Uh, or you could throw them away. So in the comments below, let us know, how did John do with his edit? How did I do with the edit? And how did Frankie do with the Max? I think he did all right. And I think you probably did all right on the edit. All right. <laughs> but I don't know yet. But we'll but have to they, see. They know. They know, they just watched. We'll see you next time on BoxMark. Pardon me, but this tissue has already been used. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.